Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics and I'm going to get right into it. I've had a busy day and I'm going to have even a busier rest of the week on into the weekend. I will still get my reviews uh, posted up tomorrow on Thursday, so look out for those. I'm not going to be able to put any reviews today, but I did want to get out really quick my pull list and what I did pick up from my comic book shop. It was actually a really big week this week. The only problem is I didn't get everything that was in my box, but I got everything from this week um, with like one or two issues from last week that came out. So let me get into it so I can show you guys what I picked up this week. First, I got Batman number 23. This is another issue of the Zero Year story arc. I have actually already read this, so look out for a review of that. Next, you guys, I picked up Superior Spider-Man Team Up number two. This is actually a part of a new story arc called Sibling Rivalry. Um, you know, it looks pretty interesting. I love Spider-Man. I actually like Kane, you know, the clone. And next, I got Scarlet Spider number 20, which is actually part two of Sibling Rivalry. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Dr. Octopus and Scarlet Spider tangle webs with each other. Uh, I'm actually interested to see how that works out because Dr. Octopus, as you know, is a villain and Kane is the Spider-Man with all the power and none of the responsibility. So we'll see if he puts up with any of Dr. Octopus's shenanigans. Next, you guys, I got Walking Dead number 113. Already read this issue. Look out for a review of this one. Um, pretty good story. Not going to get into it right now. But I picked up that from Image Comics. Image Comics. <laughs> Next, you guys, I got Uncanny X-Men number 10. Again, got to get caught up with the story arc, but I'm on a roll. Um, you know, just really catching up on some back issues. Well, recent back issues that I picked up over the past few months. So trying to get caught up. Next, you guys, I picked up Wolverine number eight. Don't normally pick up a lot of Wolverine, but this was part one of six of the storyline called Killable. I've already read this issue. I will be giving a review of this. Um, this, I guess, from what I understand, is a good jumping on point. But from reading this, you might have to go back an issue or two just to really pick up on what's going on. But I just picked it up because I thought it would be a good jumping on point. But, eh, look out for a review of that. And next, you guys, is a comic that I don't normally pick up. As a matter of fact, I haven't bought a Spawn issue and probably, no, I take that back. I've bought in a couple over the past six months, but I haven't picked one up and read it for probably about 20 years. Um, the reason why I picked it up is because I saw that it's the Spawn costume origin, which, as you know, if you're a big fan of Spawn, it's very similar to the Venom symbiote. So I saw this, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to read it. I'm going to check it out. Plus, McFarlane, you know, you got to respect him as an artist. And he is actually the writer still, or at least now, of Spawn and editor, of course. So I've always respected him as uh, for what he's done for the comic book industry and for comic books in general. So I'm definitely going to read this. I'm definitely going to check it out. This is more of a nostalgic pickup. Don't know if I'm going to continue to pick up Spawn. But I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. See what happens. And right behind it. I saw this one, which is Spawn number 233, which is the part one of the origin of the Spawn costume. So I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a good jumping on point. Maybe I'll like it. You know, because I used to love Spawn back in the day. Everybody loved Spawn back in the day. So let's see what happens here. I don't really know what will happen. I may end up becoming a fan again of Spawn. Who knows? Next, you guys another image book I got Savage Dragon number 190 now I wanted to pick up number 189 
because I think I, I from what I understood it was the beginning of a uh, story arc, which I guess it was a good jumping on point. Never really was much into Savage Dragon, but I love Eric Larson. I love his artwork. Um, you know, especially for what he did on Spider-Man way back in the day. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give Savage Dragon a shot. My comic book actually, my comic shop actually does not order these. They do not order these books. Nobody reads them. Nobody picks them up here at the comic book shop that I buy my books from. And it just so happened that they ordered one copy. And so I grabbed it really quick. I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab it. I'm going to check it out. And I think that he picked it up, that he ordered it because I had mentioned it last month that I was actually kind of interested in it, but didn't know if that was going to be a uh, ongoing thing of me picking up Savage Dragon. So I'm more or less just picking this up just to see if it go if it takes me anywhere. So we'll see. Next, you guys, I got the hot, hot, hot issue this week infinity you guys my comic book shop ordered so many of these they just had a ridiculous amount they got so many variant covers is just ridiculous uh definitely 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 look out for a review of this book i was talking to people who had actually read it already they said it's like almost 50 pages of comics so judging it right away i would say that you're definitely getting your money's worth for the $4.99 price tag of this comic. So definitely look out for a review of this comic book. And finally, you guys, I got Justice League of America number seven, part of the Trinity War story arc that's going on right now. Definitely look out for a review of this comic, you guys. Um, and actually when this is done and when Infinity is done, I'm actually going to compare the two and give a review of which one I think is better. Some of you DC people might not like it. Some of you Marvel people might not like it, but it's just my opinion. I thought it would be fun to do because some people actually are not very happy and satisfied with Trinity War right now. And some people are, and we're going to see where Infinity takes us. So we will see. And last, you guys, that was the last comic book that I got, but my comic shop kind of threw in this little guy right here, which I thought was kind of cool. I love Scotty Young's artwork and how he draws the Marvel characters in, you know, in baby, baby form. <laughs> I was like, this is just too cute, man. Like, I just love his humor that he puts into these Marvel kitties, Marvel kid drawings, love Scotty Young. And as you can see, they're playing the Thanos video game. And he's like, hit the red button. And Iron Man's like, jump left. And Captain America's like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And then uh, Thor's like, use the tur turbo cosmic eye blaster. And then, um, what's her name? Black Widow's like, he's going to beat you again. <laughs> and then he got the Hulk over there just basically as a footstool. So... This was really cool, really, really kind of cute to get one of these. They just kind of threw that in. So, yeah, you guys, definitely stay tuned. Look out for reviews of those five issues that I had mentioned. Thank you so much for tuning in to see this week's new Comic Book Week pull list. As always, you guys, keep God first in your life. Enjoy your comic books, though, and God bless you guys. I'm out of here.